Yars Guisha, a group of 72 powerful demons who worked under Lucifer to answer the call of humans, some say to collect souls. But if you look at some of the old stories, it may have just been to spread sin. However, some of these demon names are also based off old pagan religions, so it might not even relate to the Bible. But this video, we're going to go into details of all 72 demons. The Lesser Key of Solomon, or it was originally called the Megaton Clavicula Salomonis, or the Little Key of Solomon, but it became colloquially called the Lesser Key of Solomon. It was not actually written by King Solomon, but it was written by an anonymous writer. The history of King Solomon is debated amongst scholars. Current consensus says that he did exist, but when he reigned over Israel and Judah, is unclear. A lot of people right now are saying the 10th century BCE. The New Testament portrays King Solomon as a teacher of wisdom. He was a better teacher than Jesus. In the Quran, he is a major Islamic prophet. In mostly non-biblical circles, King Solomon also became known as magician, an exorcist. He had numerous amulets and medallions and seals dating from the Hellenistic period invoking his name as well. So depending on which text you're looking at, King Solomon may not have even been related to the Bible in any way. Now the book, The Lesser Key of Solomon, contains information on how to summon spirits or demons to help with your bidding. It was said King Solomon used these demons or spirits to help build his kingdom. The book warns these demons can and will try to deceive you. The book gives information on ways to impress some of the demons to work with you, or information on how to trap some of them to work with you, or information on how to approach each interaction so the demon will do your bidding. The Ars Goetia within the Lesser Key of Solomon text is actually the list of each of the 72 demons. The Ars Goetia also includes the sigils for evocation of each demon. Each of these 72 demons are assigned by Lucifer to come down to earth to do the biddings of humans. It is said each of the demons are fallen angels that rebelled alongside Lucifer when he fell from heaven. Lucifer has confidence in them to do his bidding. He's not one to be summoned by humans, but his hierarchy will take that role. So the Ars Goetia is like a label, kind of like a hockey team or something like that. And that's the label of these 72 demons. Now the word Goetia is Latin for evocation of demons or evil spirits. However, it's derived from ancient Greek word goetia, meaning charm, witchcraft, or jugglery. There is a hierarchy among the goetia. A higher ranked member apparently can give orders to lower ranked members. While the Ars Goetia appear to constantly gather in Hell's Council to discuss certain events with Lucifer, they also have their own quarters within Hell. Some say they have castles and fortresses or even separate dimensions, and each of their quarters are modified to suit the specific goetia demon's taste. The the Guisha are divided into a noble hierarchy with the following ranks. Kings of Hell, Dukes of Hell, Princes of Hell, Marquis of Hell, Counts of Hell, Knights of Hell, and Presidents of Hell. Additionally, each demon has a corresponding demon degree. Some call them nine degrees of diabolical spirits, but others aken each degree as like a circle or level of hell that they reside in. Lastly, each demon does have an angel assigned to them to watch over what they're doing as well. Now, the angel information didn't come out until sometime after the original Lesser Key of Solomon. The angels also have a hierarchy and a choir, which is like the degree that the demons have. There are nine choirs that the angels reside in, and each choir is responsible for watching over each demon degree. And just like how Lucifer watches over his Ars Goetia members, and Lucifer's the boss, Lucifer has archdemons and archdevils who look over the Goetia too. Likewise, the angels also have archangels assigned to each choir to watch over the demons. I know this stuff gets a little bit confusing, but just think of heaven and hell like a business, like having employees, supervisors, managers, CEOs, CFOs, etc. In reality, I feel like I see them more 
as like a mafia, the way that they run, and they deal in souls. Now in this video, we're just going to go through each of the 72 demons of Guisha. I'll discuss a little bit about each one, to, but to keep the video at a reasonable time, it will be brief. But I also do want to show you the degrees that they exist in, the angels assigned, the choirs assigned, etc. as well. If you want some more information about the history of this, I did a video before this one, which I will link, and you can take a look at that. It also talks about the Hasbin Hotel and how it relates back to the Ars Guisha. All right, so grab a drink, get comfy, and let's get started. Before we begin, I'm just going to list off the nine degrees or rings of hell or levels of hell, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to list off the nine choirs for the angels as well, just so that you understand what I'm referring to with each one that we go through. The demon degrees are false gods, which many of these, their names relate back to some old pagan gods. Then we have spirit of lies, and these tend to be demons that lie or related to lies. And then vessels of iniquity. These can also be referred to as the vessels of wrath. These are the ones who are inventors of evil things, wicked arts as well. But in ancient Egypt, there's referrals to these being magic and learning. Then we have revengers of evil which I found some information being related to them being demons of revenge. Then we have deluders. Some of these demons are able to control minds, make people think things that they are or aren't. Then we have aerial powers. Couldn't find a ton of information on this, but they are related to some demons that have flight and things like that, so it could be related to flight. Then you have the Furies, and the Furies are about revenge. Uh, they also do take out revenge for Lucifer, even not just on humans, but on other demons and so forth. They also will try to kill angels as well. And then you have the Accusers. I couldn't find exact information on this, and if you know it, definitely leave it in the comments below. Uh, but these do seem to be related to liberal arts and finding treasures and letting people think that they are kings and things like that. So that's the most I found right now. Lastly, we have the Tempters and the Ensnarers. And those, of course, as they sound, tempting and ensnaring people. They might try it on the person that summoned them, but the person that summoned them might be summoning them to do it to their enemy. For the angels, their nine choirs are seraphim, and they are known to fly around the throne of God. They are the angels with the wings that are just look like wings with eyes. The seraphim choir, they are responsible for watching over the false gods. Their ruling archangel is Metatron, and Metatron is the speaker for God. So they are the closest to God. And then up next, we have the cherubim, which, as they sound, they are the cherubs. They directly attend to God. They do things like protecting the entrance of the Garden of Eden, things of that nature, different tasks and things that need to be done. And there's a long list of things that cherubs do, but a lot of you might know the most famous one being Cupid. The cherubs are responsible for looking over the demon degree of spirits and lies, and their ruling archangels are actually two, Archangel Raziel and Jophiel. The next angel choir is the Thrones. They're the third highest of nine levels of angels. And they're the angel that is the one that is the big wheel that spins around with eyes that are on it. And they deliver divine justice and hold up God, remaining forever in his presence. The ruling archangel for the Thrones is Archangel Zafkiel. And the demon degree that they look after is the Vessels of Iniquity. The next angel choir is the Dominions. This choir is also known as Dominations or Lordships. And they're responsible for regulating the duties of lower angels. Their archangel that looks over them is Archangel Zadkiel. And the demon degree that they are in charge of watching over is Revengers of Evil. The next angel choir is Powers. This choir is ruled over by Archangel Samael and also Archangel Kamael. These angels are the ones who have been given power over evil forces. They're able to restrain and keep them from doing harm. The powers are responsible for looking over the demon degree called the Deluders. The next angel choir is the Virtues. And the Virtues Archangel is Archangel Michael. And they're responsible for making miracles occur upon Earth. Their corresponding demon degree is aerial powers. The next angel choir is the principalities, also known as princedoms or rulers. Their archangel is Archangel Haniel. The angels in this choir are responsible for guiding and protecting nations, groups of people, and institutions. 
especially things like the church. Their corresponding demon degree that they look over is the Furies. The next angel choir is the Archangels. And this can be a little bit confusing as there are some Archangels that hold a higher degree or higher rank than these Archangels, but these are also the Archangels too. And the Archangel that looks over this choir is Archangel Raphael. And the angels within this group are the ones who are responsible to appear to mortals. They serve God directly and they have the greatest power. The demon degree that they correspond to that they look over are the accusers. The last angel choir is called the angels. They are the lowest order of angels and the choir is ruled over Archangel Gabriel. The angels in this choir are the ones most concerned with the affairs of men and women. They're sent as messengers to humanity versus the archangels that might do things like miracles and things of that nature. This choir, their corresponding demon degree that they look over are the tempters and the ensnarers. So you can kind of think of it like the demon on one shoulder and the angel on the other. Well, you have the angel choir number nine on the one shoulder and the tempters and ensnarers. That would be the demon degree number nine on the other shoulder. Okay, now we have 72 demons to go through. So it's going to be a bit of a long one, but you'll see by the title of the video, I think that you figured out that this is going to be a long video. So let's get started. I'm going to be giving a little bit more detail on the demon versus the angel, but I'll give a little bit of info on the angel that corresponds with the demon as we go through this list. Baal, the first of the 72. He's also known as Baal, Baal, Bol, and Boal. He holds the rank of king. His demon degree is false gods, and he rules over 66 legions of demons. His opposing angel, or the angel that watches over him, is Vahuya. Vahuya is the first angel of the 72, a member of the Seraphim Choir, and Vahuya assists in undertaking and executing the most difficult things. Baal appears with the heads of a cat, a toad, and a human. Sometimes he will appear with all three heads, sometimes it's just a mixture of a couple, or sometimes he just picks one head, or he does a combination and mushes them all together. Baal teaches science, grants invisibility, and he can make people wise. His power is strongest in October. He's also known to speak with a hoarse voice, and there are some people saying that he carries ashes that relate back to necromancy in his pocket. Number two. Agaris. Agaris holds the rank of Duke, and the demon degree that he exists in is the False Gods. And he has control of 31 legions of spirits. The angel who watches over him is Elil, who's the second angel of the 72 in the Seraphim Choir. This angel's name means helping God. Elil helps calm people, obtain victory over those who would attack unjustly. This angel also signifies love and wisdom. Agaris used to be in the Order of Virtues, and he appears as an old fair man riding upon a crocodile, carrying a goshawk upon his fist. Agaris has the ability to make people stand still, people who are running. He also brings back people who have run away. He can teach all languages or tongues. He can destroy dignities, both spiritual and temporal, and cause earthquakes. Astrologically, he signifies immortality. He's also known as a servant demon of those born between March 25th and March 29th. Number three, Basago. He holds the rank of prince. He exists in the demon degree, false gods. Basago governs 26 legions of spirits. The angel who looks over him is Sitael. Sitael is the third angel of the 72, a member of the Seraphim Choir, whose name means God of Hope. Sitael protects against adversaries, weapons, and wild beasts. Astrologically, the spirit signifies creation. Fasago's description is quite interesting. He is seen as a flame around the Tower of Babylon. His head, however, looks like that of a hawk. Visago promotes discord, war, quarrel, falsehood. Visago is actually a demon of good nature, and his role is to tell the future things that have happened in the past and things that have yet to come. He also is responsible for discovering hidden or lost items. Astrologically, he signifies ingratitude. Visago is a servant demon for those born between March 30th and April 3rd. Number four, Samajina. Samajina holds the rank of Marquis and exists in the demon degree, False Gods. Samajina rules over 30 legions of demons. 
Samajina is watched over by the angel called Elamia, a member of the Seraphim Choir. Elamia's name means the hidden god. Elamia guards against mental troubles and helps to identify traitors. This angel signifies divine power. Samajina appears in the form of a little horse or a donkey. Samajina will turn into a human form upon request, and he speaks with a horse voice. Samajina teaches liberal sciences. Samajina also has accounts of dead souls that died in sin, those who drowned in the sea, and those who dwell in purgatory. Samajina signifies delay, and he's a servant demon to those born April 4th to the 8th. Number 5. Marbas. Marbas holds the rank of Marquis and exists in the demon degree, false gods. Marbas governs 36 legions of spirits. The angel that looks over Marbas is named Mahasya and a member of the Seraphim, and the name means God the Savior. Mahasya helps people live in peace in the world. The angel signifies rectification, Marbas. He appears at first in the form of a large lion, but upon request he can take a human form. Marbas answers truthfully. He will let you know things that are hidden or secret. He can cause disease, but he can also cure disease. Marbas can grant great wisdom and knowledge mechanical arts and is able to change people into other shapes. Marbas signifies unrestrained living. Marbas is a servant demon for those born between April 9th to the 13th. Number six, Valifor holds the rank of Duke and the corresponding demon degree that he exists in is false gods. Valifor governs 10 legions of spirits. The angel that watches over Valifor is Ai Hahel, a member of the Seraphim Choir, whose name means the praiseworthy god, helps people acquire the knowledge to cure illness, and signifies the light of understanding. Valifor, he appears in the shape of a lion with a donkey head, often bellowing. He can be utilized as a good familiar, but he will often try to tempt those that he serves to steal. Astrologically, this demon signifies ambition. He's a servant demon to those born April 14th to the 18th. Number seven, Amon. Holds the rank of Marquis and exists under the demon degree, false gods. Amon governs 40 legions of spirits. Amon is watched over by the angel Achaia, a member of the Seraphim Choir, meaning the forbearing god. Achaia helps with patience and uncovering secrets of nature. Astrologically, this angel signifies patience. Amon appears like a wolf with a serpent's tail, with flames of fire coming out of his mouth. At the command of his summoner, he will take the shape of a man with dog's teeth and a raven head, or a man with just a raven's head. Amon tells the past and future. Amon can make people fight or reconcile. Astrologically, this demon signifies laziness. And Among is the servant demon to those born between April 19th to the 23rd. Number 8. Barbatos. He holds the rank of Duke, and his demon degree is false gods. Rules over 30 legions of spirits. The angel that looks over Barbatos is Kethiel, and a member of the Seraphim Choir. The name means adored god. Kethiel serves to obtain god's blessing and chase away evil spirits. Astrologically, this angel signifies divine blessings. Barbatos appears when the sun is in Sagittarius, usually with four noble kings and their companies of great troops. His name derives from the Latin meaning bearded old man, so that's probably what he ends up looking like as well. Barbados can speak to animals, he can tell the future, he can make friends and rulers reconcile and lead people to treasures. Number nine, Paimon. He holds the rank of king and he exists in the demon degree, spirits of lies. Some sources state that he rules over 200 legions of spirits. Some of them are under the order of angels and the rest of the powers. But other sources just credit him with 25 legions of spirits. The angel that watches over Paimon is Haziel, a member of the Cherubim Choir, whose name means the Merciful God. Haziel obtains God's mercy and executes promises. Astrologically, this angel signifies divine forgiveness. Paimon is very obedient to Lucifer. Texts warn that if Paimon appears alone, a sacrifice must be made to summon Labal, the most devoted to Lucifer, and Abilam, two kings who serve under him but do not always accompany him. When Paimon arrives, you will first hear 
loud music, particularly trumpets. And then you will see him as a man riding a camel. Some texts say that the camel has a crown on its head. Other texts say that Paimon himself has a crown since he is a king after all. He is described as being very beautiful, but texts still refer to him using masculine pronouns. Paimon has a hoarse voice and you must command him to speak plainly as he will speak in his own native language until commanded to do otherwise. Paimon teaches science and answers other questions. He has knowledge, full knowledge, everything regarding the earth, the waters, the winds, everything. He will truthfully answer all questions asked of him and can reveal hidden treasures. He has the ability to grant lordships and bestow dignities, and he also can give people familiars. There are some texts that also say that he has command over fish. Paimon has many powers. Other powers include knowledge of past and future, clearing up doubts, making spirits appear, creating visions, getting and dismissing servant spirits, reanimating the dead, which can stay a up and reanimated for several years after. Also has the ability of flight, can remain underwater indefinitely, and he has a general ability to make all kinds of things and all sorts of people and armor appear when the person who summoned him requests as much. Paimon is a servant demon for those born April 29th to May 3rd. Number 10, Boer. Boer holds the rank of president and exists in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Buer governs over 50 legions of spirits. The angel who watches over Buer is Aladia and a member of the Cherubim Choir. The name means the favorable God. Aladia protects those guilty of hidden crimes, controls rage and pestilence, cures diseases, and astrologically, this angel signifies divine grace. Buer appears in Sagittarius. The summoner must wear his seal of obedience when calling him forth to appear, and he appears in the shape of a form of a star. However, in the Infernal Dictionary, Boer is depicted as a lion with five legs, approximating the shape of a star. Boer teaches philosophy, both moral and natural, also teaches logic arts, and the virtues of all herbs and plants. He heals distemper in man, and can grant the summoner a familiar. Buer is a servant demon to those born from May 4th to the 8th. Number 11, Geisen. Geisen holds the role of Duke in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Geisen rules over 40 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Levaya, a member of the Cherubim Choir, and name means the Exalted God. Levaya governs renown, protects against lightning, delivers victories, and astrologically this angel signifies victory. Geisen is described as a Xenopilus. Nobody really knows what that means. Some people refer to it as the look of a foreigner. But when this book was written, uh, a lot of the new world had just been discovered and there were some people saying tall tales of other people of other lands having things like their heads below their shoulders or other odd things to do with their body. And some people think that that's maybe what it's referring to. So essentially, Geisen looks like someone from a distant foreign land. And Geisen will give you information about all things past, present, and future. We'll also have the meaning and resolution of any question you may ask. And Geisen can reconcile friendships, grant honors and dignities. Astrologically, he signifies jealousy. He's a servant demon to those born May 9th to May 13th. Number 12, Citri. Citri holds the rank of prince in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Citri governs 60 legions of spirits, and the angel that watches over is Hahaya. Hahaya is a member of the Cherubim Choir, and the name means God the Refuge. Hahaya will protect against adversity, governs dreams, and reveals mysteries. Astrologically, this angel signifies refuge and finding peace. Citri and will appear at first with a leopard's head and the wings of a griffin. But when the summoner commands, Citri will take on a very beautiful human form. Citri will do things like control love, so can grant love to somebody, make a woman fall in love with a man, make a man fall in love with a woman. And Citri can also make them take off their clothes and be naked upon request. Astrologically, this demon signifies indiscretion, telling lies, and general untruth. Citri is the servant demon of those born between May 14th and the 18th. Number 13, Beleth, holds the rank of king in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Beleth governs 85 legions of spirits. 
The angel who watches over Beleth is Iazalel, a member of the Cherubim Choir. The name means the God sung above all. Iazalel governs friendship, reconciliation, fidelity. Astrologically, this angel signifies loyalty. When Beleth is summoned, you will first hear music playing, especially trumpets, and he will appear riding on a pale horse. When Beleth appears, he will make himself very scary and he's going to be very angry. And it is the summoner's role in this particular instance to hold steadfast and not be scared. If the summoner does not display courage, then Beleth will not grant anything that they want. The summoner must also hold a hazel wand in their hand, striking it out towards the south and east quarters to make a magic triangle outside of the circle that they stand in. Then they'll command him into the triangle by reciting the spirit's chain. This is all stuff within the book. And if he won't enter the triangle, then the summoner will keep saying it over and over until he yields. Once he's inside the triangle, he must do as commanded by the person who summoned him. But still as a summoner, you still have to treat him courteously as he is a king. So even when you ask him for stuff, you still have to kind of talk to him as if he is a king. Additionally, the summoner has to always have a silver ring on their middle finger of the left hand and that has to be held against their face. Beleth has great knowledge in mathematics and he will also grant the summoner love between men or women until the summoner has their desires fulfilled. Beleth is the servant demon for those born between May 19th and the 23rd. Number 14, Laria holds the rank of Marquis in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Larian governs over 30 legions of spirits, is looked over by the angel, Mebael, a member of the Cherubim Choir, whose name means God the Protector and Savior. Mebael will work against those who seek to usurp the fortunes of others, governs justice, truth, liberty. Astrologically, this angel signifies truth and justice. Larian and will show up as an archer, wearing green, carrying a bow and quiver. Larie can cause great battles and contests. Any wounds that are made with arrows or by archers, he can make putrefy. And astrologically, this demon signifies false testimony. Larie is a servant demon for those born between May 24th to the 28th. Number 15, Eligos. Eligos can also be known as Abagor, holds the rank of Duke, and exists in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies. Eligos governs 60 legions of spirits. Eligos is watched over by the angel Hariel, the 15th of the 72, a member of the Cherubim Choir, whose name means the Comforting God. Hariel protects against blasphemers, and astrologically, this angel signifies purification. Ellie Ghost, he will appear in the form of a godly knight carrying a lance and a flag. And some say that he's riding a horse with dragon wings and a serpent tail. He has knowledge of things that are hidden, or he can also grant knowledge of the future. Especially, he knows about wars and soldiers. He can grant love of lords and great persons. Astrologically, this demon signifies religious conflict and conflict in general. Eligos is a servant demon for those born between May 29th and June 2nd. Number 16, Zephar, holds the rank of Duke, exists in the demon degree, Spirits of Lies, governs 26 legions of inferior spirits. The angel that watches over Zephar is Hakamaya, member of the Cherubim Choir, whose name means the Raising God. Hagamaya protects against traitors and gives deliverance to those who oppress and grants victory. Astrologically, this angel signifies loyalty. Zapar will appear wearing red soldier armor. He can make a woman fall in love with a man and bring them together in love, but he can also make them barren as well. When he sees his seal, he will obey it. Astrologically, this demon signifies treason and revolt. Zapar is a servant demon to those born June 3rd to June 7th. Number 17, Bodis. He holds the rank Count or President and is the first in the demon degree Vessels of Iniquity. Bodis rules over 60 legions of spirits. Bodis is watched over by the angel Loviah and a member of the Thrones Choir. The name means the Marvelous God. Loviah protects from spiritual torment, sadness, and helps people sleep. 
also rules over high sciences, discoveries, and gives revelations and dreams. Astrologically, this angel signifies revelation. Photos will appear at first as a viper, and then when the person who summons him commands, he will put on a human form with big teeth, two horns, and will be carrying a bright, sharp sword in his hand. He can give information of everything that has passed and things that are to come. He can reconcile friends and foes. And astrologically, this demon signifies atheism and the rejection of a universal spirit. Bodus is a servant demon to those born between June 8th and the 12th. Number 18, Bathin, holds the rank of Duke and exists in the demon degree, Vessels of Iniquity. Bathin rules over 30 legions of spirits. Bathin is watched over the angel Kalil, a member of the throne's choir, and the name means Invocable God. Kalil makes sure that truth is known in court and allows the innocents to triumph, as well makes sure that the guilty are known and false testimony is revealed. Astrologically, this angel signifies justice. Bathin, and will appear as a strong man with the tail of a serpent sitting upon a pale horse. Bathin knows a lot about herbs and precious stones and can transport people from one country to another. Astrologically, this demon signifies scandal. Bathin is a servant demon for those born between June 13th and the 17th. Number 19. Salos, also known as Saleos, holds the rank of Duke and exists in the demon degree Vessels of Iniquity. Salos governs 30 legions of spirits, watched over by the angel Luvia and member of the throne's choir, whose name means swiftly hearkening God. Luvia obtains the grace of God, governs memory and intelligence. Astrologically, this angel signifies fruition and the realization of one's plans and dreams. Salos. He will appear in the form of a soldier riding on a crocodile with a ducal crown on his head. He can grant love between women and men. Astrologically, this demon signifies forgetfulness and the release of unpleasant thoughts. Salos is a servant demon to those born between June 18th and the 22nd. Number 20. Her son. Holds the rank of king in the demon degree vessels of iniquity. Hursan governs over 22 legions of spirits. Hursan is watched over by the angel Pahalia, a member of the throne's choir, whose name means God the Redeemer. Pahalia serves against enemies of religion, governs religion, theology, and morality, and can influence chastity and piety. Astrologically, this angel signifies redemption. Her son, and will appear as a comely man with a lion's face, carrying a viper in his hand and riding upon a bear. You will also hear trumpet sound when he appears. He has knowledge of things that are hidden and can discover treasure. He can tell the past, present, and future. He can also take a form of a body form or a spiritual form, and he answers questions of all earthly things, both secret and divine, and has knowledge and answers questions on the creation of the world. He also has the ability to bring forth good familiars. Astrologically, this demon signifies libertines and renegades. Hersan is a servant demon for those born between June 23rd and the 27th. 21. Marax. Marax holds the rank of count or president and exists in the demon degree, vessels of iniquity. Marax governs 30 legions of spirits, Marax is watched over by the angel Nikhail, a member of the throne's choir, whose name means the only god. Nikhail protects against troublemakers and defends people from spells and destroys powerful evil spirits. Astrologically, this angel signifies desire for knowledge. Marax. He will appear as a great bull with a man's face. He offers knowledge in astronomy and liberal sciences and can grant good familiars. He knows a lot about herbs and stones and can grant that knowledge over. Astrologically, this demon signifies prejudice. He's a servant demon to those born between June 28th and July 2nd. Number 22, Ippos. Ippos holds the rank of count or prince and exists in the demon degree, vessels of iniquity. 
Ippos governs over 36 legions of spirits. The angel that watches over Ippos is Ye Yael, member of the throne's choir, whose name means the right hand of God. Ye Yael rules over money, renown, diplomacy, and commerce, and can influence travel, discoveries, and maritime, as well as protect against tempests and shipwrecks. Astrologically, this angel signifies fame and renown. Ippos has the body of an angel, the head of a lion, the tail of a rabbit, the feet of a goose, and sometimes will show up in the same shape, but with the body of a lion, rarely will show up as a vulture. Ippos knows of everything past, present, and future, and has the ability to make men witty and bold. Astrologically, this demon signifies voyages, especially travel by sea. Ippos is a servant to those born between July 3rd and the 7th. Number 20, Aim, also known as Habarim or Aim, with a Y, holds the rank Duke and the demon degree of Vessels of Iniquity. Aim governs 26 legions of inferior spirits. Aim is watched over by the angel Melahel, member of the throne's choir, whose name means God deflecting evil. Melahel protects against weapons and gives safety in travel, also governs water, produce, and especially plants that are required to cure disease. Astrologically, this angel signifies the capacity for healing. Aim. He is described as a great and strong duke, appears in the form of a very handsome man in body, but with three heads. One a serpent, the next a man having two stars on his forehead, and the third is a calf. He rides on a viper, carrying a firebrand in his hand. Aim will set anything on fire for you, cities, castles, homes. He will also make you witty in all manner of ways, gives truthful answers concerning private matters, and astrologically signifies destruction of the environment. Aim is a servant to those born July 8th to the 12th. Number 24, Nibirius. Nibirius is also known as Nibiros, Cerberus, Cerberi, Nabarus. People do believe that he is linked to the original Cerberus myth. Holds the rank of Marquis. Exists in the demon degree, Vessels of Iniquity. Nibirius governs 19 legions of spirits. Nibirius is watched over by the angel Hayua, member of the throne's choir, whose name means God the Good in himself. Rules over exiles and prisoners, works against the discovery of secret crimes, and protects animals from assassins. Astrologically, this angel signifies protection, Nibirius. He is known to show himself as either in the form of a dog with three heads or sometimes in the form of a black crane. When he speaks, he will have a very hoarse voice. He can grant you skill in arts and sciences, but especially the art of rhetoric. He restores lost dignity and honor. Astrologically, this demon signifies criminal enterprises. He's a servant demon of those born between July 13th to the 17th. Number 25, Glacia Labolas, also known as Cacrinolas, holds the rank of Count or President and exists in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil, commands 36 legions of spirits. Glacia Labolas is watched over by the angel Netea, member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means the Generous God. Netea governs occult sciences, gives wisdom and discovers true and hidden mysteries. Astrologically, this angel signifies spiritual wisdom. Glacia Labolas show himself in the form of a dog with wings like a griffin. He can teach any art and science in an instant and is an author in bloodshed and manslaughter. He teaches everything past and future, desired. He can also cause love of friends and foes. He can also grant invisibility. Ability. Astrologically, this demon signifies black magic. He is a servant demon for those born between July 18th and the 22nd. Number 26, Boone. Boone holds the rank of Duke, exists in the demon degree of Revengers of Evil. Boone governs 30 legions of spirits. Boone is watched over the angel Haya, member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means God listening in concealment. Haya protects those who seek truth and brings men to the contemplation of divine things. Rules over politicians, diplomats, ambassadors. Haya also influences couriers, communications. Astrologically, this angel signifies politics and ambition. Boone. He will appear in the form of a dragon with three heads, one like a dog, one like a griffin, and one like a man. He speaks with a high and very beautiful voice. 
Boone has control over the dead. He can make spirits under him gather together upon graves and tombs, and he can change the place of where a dead person is located. He's able to give a person riches and able to make whoever summoned him wise and eloquent as well. He will give true answers to your questions, so he does not lie. And astrologically, this demon signifies traitors and conspiracies. He is a servant demon for those born between July 23rd and the 27th. 27. Renove holds the rank Count or Marquis, exists in the demon degree Revengers of Evil. Renove commands 19 legions of spirits. Renove is watched over by the angel Irithel, member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means the Preventing God. Irithel gives deliverance from enemies, as well as protects those who provoke and attack unjustly. Astrologically, this angel signifies propagation of light. Renove will appear as a monster holding a staff. There's no details on his exact appearance, but he's also described as one who takes souls, often coming to earth to harvest souls of people that are near death. So there might be a link here to like a reaper kind of deal. Renov is more of a pacifist and he prefers to just stick to what his task is, which is taking souls. He has not actively participated in any of the wars that occurred. He teaches the art of rhetoric and is able to grant good familiars to somebody. As well, he also teaches knowledge of languages and grants favors with friends or foes. Astrologically, this demon signifies slavery and bondage. He's a servant demon for those born between July 28th and August 1st. 28, Bareth. Bareth holds the rank of Duke and exists in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil. Bareth governs 26 legions of spirits. The angel that watches over Bareth is Sihaya, member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means God who took evil. Sihaya serves against infirmities and thunder, protects against fires, collapsed buildings, and maladies. Astrologically, this angel signifies longevity. Bareth appears in the form of a soldier with red clothing, riding upon a red horse, and having a crown of gold upon his head. He will give you true answers concerning past, present, and future. In order to call him forth, you have to use a ring. He can turn any metal into gold and he can grant dignities as well. When he speaks, it's with a very clear and subtle voice. Astrologically, this demon signifies catastrophe and haste. He's a servant demon for those born August 2nd to the 6th. 29. Astaroth holds the rank of Duke, exists in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil. Astaroth commands 40 legions of demons. The angel who watches over Astaroth is Rael, member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means the expected god. Rael rules over religious sentiment, philosophy, meditation. Astrologically, this angel signifies liberation. Astaroth, he's known as one of the strongest demons and is said to be one of the incarnations of death. He serves within the hierarchy of hell with Beelzebub and Lucifer. He's part of the evil trinity. He's a male figure. However, most likely it was named after an Eastern goddess, Astarte. He will show himself in the shape of a foul angel sitting upon an infernal dragon and carrying a viper in his right hand. The person who summons him has to wear a magical ring when they approach because of his stinking breath. Astroth is most powerful in August, and he is a demon of the first hierarchy, so he can seduce by means of laziness, self-doubt, and rationalized philosophies. To those who summon him, he can teach mathematical sciences, handicrafts, he can make people invisible, lead them to hidden treasures, answer any question, and also grant the power over serpents. He's a servant demon to those born between August 7th and the 11th. Number 30, Fornius holds the rank Marquis, resides in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil. Fornius rules over 29 legions of demons. The angel who watches over him is Omeo, a member of the Dominion's Choir, whose name means the patient God. Omeo protects against sorrow and despair, brings patience, and rules over the animal kingdom. Astrologically, this angel signifies fertility and multiplicity. Fornius. His name seems to be derived from Fornus, which actually means oven. He is depicted as a great sea monster and can take many different forms, but mainly prefers his human form. Fornius can grant a man to have a good name, knowledge and understanding of multiple languages. 
You can make someone beloved by their foes and friends. Astrologically, this demon signifies fruitless labor. Phorneas is a servant demon to those born between August 12th and the 16th. Number 31, Forus. Forus holds the rank of president and resides in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil. And he controls 29 legions of demons. The angel that watches over him is like a bell, member of the Dominion's choir, whose name means God the Teacher. Lechabelle may be called upon for knowledge, but governs over vegetation and agriculture. Astrologically, this angel signifies intellectual talent. When Forrest is summoned, he manifests as a very big and strong-looking man. He can teach logic and ethics. He has a lot of knowledge on herbs and precious stones. He can make a man witty, eloquent, and also give them invisibility. According to some authors, he can also grant invincibility, as well as being able to grant a long life and can help someone discover treasures and lost things. Astrologically, this demon signifies greed. Forrest has a servant demon to those born between August 17th and the 21st. Number 31, Asmodee also known as Asmodee or Asmodeus, holds the rank of king, exists in the demon degree, Revengers of Evil. Asmodee commands 72 legions of demons and is one of the kings of hell under Lucifer. The angel who watches over him is Vasariah, member of the Dominion's choir, whose name means God the Just. Vasariah rules over justice, influences nobility, legal executives, magistrates, and attorneys. Astrologically, this angel signifies clemency. Interestingly, in the Testament of Solomon, Asmodee is invoked by King Solomon to aid in the construction of his temple. Asmodee appears and predicts Solomon's kingdom will one day be divided. Asmodee also claimed that he was born of a human mother and an angel father. There are many different texts with Asmodee or Asmodeus, and they all tell different stories of him. So I suggest if you're interested, go take a look at all of them. There's quite a number of them. And the Lesser Key of Solomon, his, his seal is also gold. He appears as a strong, powerful being with three heads, a bull, a man, and a ram, and has the tail of a serpent and then breathes fire from his mouth. He sits upon an infernal dragon and holds a lance with a banner. When he's summoned, the summoner must be standing with his hat off. For if you're wearing a hat, then Asmodee will deceive you and reveal all of your doings to other people. He teaches art, arithmetic, geometry, astronomy, and other handicrafts. He will also give truthful answers to your commands and can render a man invisible along with showing where treasure is. He is a servant demon to those born between August 22nd and the 26th. 33. Gap holds the rank of prince or president, exists in the demon degree deluders. Gap is also known as Tap, Cope, Taob, and Go. He rules over 25 to 26 legions of spirits. The angel that watches over him is Ihuya, a member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the all-knowing God. Ihuya will show traitors, destroy their projects and machinations. Astrologically, this angel signifies submission to higher order. And Gap will appear as a prince and he'll be riding a huge bat humanoid kind of monster with overly large ears and two straight horns on its head. Gap can incite love and provides medical care to women. He can transform women to make it easier for them to get a lover, but he also has the ability to render them infertile. Some other sources instead describe him as a president, giving him power to teach philosophy, liberal arts, and make people invisible, steal familiars from others, make men stupid, and carry men between kingdoms. There are also some texts that connect Gap to necromancers. Gap is a servant demon to those born between August 27th and the 31st. 34. Furfur holds the rank of Count, exists in the demon degree, the Deluders. Furfur is the ruler of 26 legions of demons. Furfur is watched over by the angel Lahahia, member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the Gentle God. Lahahia fights against anger, rolls over leaders, and astrologically, this angel signifies obedience. Furfur appears as a deer or a winged deer and also as an angel. Sometimes he transforms from a deer into an angel when compelled to enter the magic triangle. The triangle I mentioned on one of the other previous demons where the summoner will draw a triangle and if you can get one of these demons into the triangle then they have more control over the demon. 
Treffer is a liar unless compelled to enter the triangle, where he will give true answers to every question, speaking with a very rough voice. Treffer can cause love between men and women, create storms, tempests, thunder, lightning, and blasts, and will teach on secret and divine things. Treffer is a servant demon to those born between September 1st and the 5th. Number 35, Marchosius, holds the rank of Marquis, exists in the demon degree, the Deluders. Marchosius commands 30 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Chavakia, member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the God of Joy. Chavakia supports peace and harmony in families and rules over contract successions and distributions. Astrologically, this angel signifies reconciliation. Marchosius will appear as a wolf with griffin wings and a serpent tail breathing fire from his mouth. But at the request of the summoner, he will take the form of a man. His name comes from the Latin marchio, which means marquis. In another text, his gender is actually a female instead. Marchosius is a strong fighter, gives true answers to all questions, is very faithful to the summoner, and follows commands. Marchosius is a servant demon to those born September 6th to the 10th. 36. Stolas holds the rank of prince, exists in the demon degree, deluders. Stolas commands 26 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Manadel, member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the Honorable God. Manadel brings exiles back to their native land and uncovers lost or stolen belongings. Astrologically, this angel signifies inner and outer work. Stolos will appear as a raven or a crowned owl with long legs, but will take the appearance of a human male after being summoned. He teaches astronomy and is knowledgeable about herbs, plants, and precious stones. Astrologically, this demon signifies the protection of criminals. Stolos is a servant demon to those born September 11th to the 15th. Number 37, Phoenix holds the rank Marquis, exists in the demon degree, deluders. Phoenix has 20 legions of demons under his command. The angel that watches over Phoenix is Anil, member of the Powers Choir, whose name means God, Lord of all virtues. Anil gives victory, rules over sciences and arts, reveals secrets of nature, and inspires wise philosophers with their meditations. Astrologically, this angel signifies breaking the circle. Phoenix is depicted as a phoenix, he will sing sweet notes with the voice of a child, but when summoning him, the summoner can't be alone. He has to bring companions, and you have to warn the companions not to listen to the singing or the song. And everyone needs to ask him to put on a human shape, which supposedly Phoenix will do after a certain amount of time. Phoenix teaches all sciences, is an excellent poet, and is very obedient to the summoner. Phoenix is a servant demon to those born September 16th to the 20th. Number 38, Helphus, holds the rank of Count, exists in the demon degree, Deluders. Helphus commands 26 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Hamia, a member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the Honorable God. Hamia governs all that relates to God, protect against fraud, weapons, wild beasts, and infernal spirits. Astrologically, this angel signifies ritual and ceremony. Helphus will have a hoarse voice. Uh, some manuscripts say that he shows up as a stock dove. Some describe him as a stork, but like human-like. Helphus supplies weapons and ammunition for towers and sends men to war. Helphus is a servant demon to those born September 21st to the 25th. Number 39, Melphus, holds the rank president and exists in the demon degree, the looters. Melphus has 40 legions of demons under his command, and he is second in command under Satan. Watched over by the angel Rahel, member of the Powers Choir, whose name means the quickly forgiving God. Rahel rules over health and long life, influences love of one's parents, and obedience and respect of children for their parents. Astrologically, this angel signifies love and submission. Melphis will appear as a raven, but when requested, will resemble a man with a hoarse voice. 
Malphaeus will build houses, towers, strongholds, can also tear down buildings of enemies, destroy enemies' desires and thoughts, or make them known to the summoner who called him in, can also give good familiars, can bring artificers together from places of the world. Also, Malphaeus accepts willingly and kindly any sacrifice offered to him, but then he will deceive the summoner. Malphaeus is a servant demon to those born between September 26th and the 30th. Number 40, pronounced Raum, which I'm not very good at saying, but it means room as well, holds the rank Count, exists in the demon degree, the Deluders. Raum rules over 30 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Aesel, a member of the Powers Choir, whose name means God who rejoices. Aesel will free prisoners, provide consolation, and give deliverance from one's enemies and is able to influence professors, teachers, and artists. Astrologically, this angel signifies divine comfort. Realm is depicted as a crow, which will have a human form upon request of the summoner. His role is to steal treasures from king's houses and carry it wherever he is commanded, and to destroy cities and dignities of men, and to tell all things past, present, and future, as well can cause love between friends and foes. Astrologically, this demon signifies quiet solitude and is a servant to those born between October 1st to the 5th. Number 41. Focalor, also known as Furcalor, commanding either three or thirty legions of demons. Focalor is watched over by the angel Hahael, member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means God of Trinity. Hahael will protect against those who would slander others, also governs Christianity. Astrologically, this angel signifies undertaking and completing a mission. Focalor will appear as a form of a man with eagle wings. However, he is very violent. He will kill men, drown them, and overthrow warships. But if the person who summoned him commands, he will not harm any man or thing. Pokalor has power over wind and sea, and has always hoped that he would be able to return to heaven after 1,000 years of exile and hell. But that never came to fruition. Astrologically, this demon signifies disregarding rules. And Pokalor is a servant demon to those born between October 6th and the 10th. Number 42, Vipar, holds the rank of Duke, exists in the demon degree, Aerial Powers. Vipar rules over 29 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Mikhail, member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means like unto God. Mikhail helps keep those who are traveling safe, rules over political figures, uncovers conspiracies. Astrologically, this angel signifies political authority. Vipar will appear as a mermaid as he also governs waters and guides armored ships, ammunitions, and weapons. If requested, he can make the waters rough and stormy and make it look like there's a bunch of ships there as well to scare people. Vipar can make men die in three days by putrefying their sores and wounds. He can cause worms to breed inside of bodies, but if the summoner requests, he can also heal them immediately. Vipar is a servant to those born between October 11th and the 15th. Number 43, Sabnok, holds the rank Marquis, corresponding demon degree, aerial powers. Sabnok has 50 legions of demons under his command. He's watched over by the angel Vualia, a member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means God, King, and Ruler. This angel may be called upon for the destruction of enemy and deliverance from bondage. Astrologically, this angel signifies prosperity. Sabnok is depicted as a soldier with armors and weapons and the head of a lion while riding a pale horse. Sabnok can build towers, castles, cities, and furnish them with weapons, ammunition, and so forth. Sabnok also can grant good familiars and can afflict men for several days, making their wounds sore and gangrenous or filling them with worms. Astrologically, this demon signifies the fall of empires. Sabnok is a servant to those born between October 16th and the 20th. Number 44. Shax, also known as Chax, Shan, Shas, Shaz, and Skox. Shax holds the rank of Grand Marquis and exists in the demon degree, Aerial Powers. Shax has the power of 30 legions of demons on evil horses. 
and it is said he should not be bothered too often. Shax is watched over by the angel. Apologies for the pronunciation. Yuya, a member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means God, the Eternal Lasting. This angel will ensure success of a useful undertaking. Astrologically, this angel signifies success. When summoned, Shax will appear as a stork. He has a very hoarse voice, but eventually it'll turn into a beautiful one once you get him into the magical triangle. Upon request of the conjurer, Shax can take away anyone's sight, hearing, or understanding, as well as steal money, horses, items, anything out of king's houses or anyone's houses. Shax can discover hidden things as long as evil spirits are not hiding them. And sometimes Shax will give you a familiar, however, sometimes the familiar is there to deceive the conjurer, so you have to be careful with him. And Shax knows when someone is lying. Shax is thought to be a truthful and trusted demon. However, he is the great liar and will deceive the person who summons him unless you get him into the magical triangle. Once he's in the triangle, he will speak all truth. Astrologically, this demon signifies war and violence and is a servant demon to those born October 21st to the 25th. Number 45. Vine holds the rank of count or king and exists in the demon degree, aerial powers. You could not find any information about him having control over any armies of demons. Vine is watched over by the angel Celia, member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means God who stirs all men. Celia will confound the wicked and the proud while exalting the humiliated and the fallen. She also looks over vegetation and astrologically, this angel signifies motivation. Different texts do rank Vine as an earl instead of a king. He is described as a lion who rides a black horse while carrying a viper. Vine has the power to build towers, destroy walls, disturb seas, and answer questions on any secrets, witches, events, past, present, and future. Vine is a servant demon to those born between October 26th and the 30th. Number 46. Bifrens holds the rank of Count, exists in the Demon Degree, Aerial Powers. Bifrens has different accounts of commanding either 6, 26, or 60 legions of spirits. Bifrens is watched over by the Angel Ariel, a member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means the Revealing God. Ariel can procure revelations, discover hidden treasure, reveal great secrets, and cause the objects of one desire to be seen in dreams. Astrologically, this spirit signifies perception and revelation. Bifrens is described as an earl who initially appears as a monster before adopting a more human form. Bifrin teaches arts and sciences, including astrology and geometry, and the properties of different plants and stones. He can also move bodies into different graves, light candles over graves, and Bifrin is a servant demon to those born between October 31st and November 4th. Number 47, Vual, also known as Uval, holds the rank Duke, exists in the demon degree, aerial powers. Vual commands 37 legions of demons. Vual is watched over by the angel, Asalia, a member of the Virtues Choir, whose name means God, the Just Judge. This angel governs justice, makes the truth known in legal proceedings. Astrologically, this angel signifies contemplation. Vual will appear in the form of a camel that after a while changes into the shape of a man. His primary ability is acquiring the love of women, but he can also create friendships between foes. He also has the ability to tell things of past, present, and future. And Vual is able to speak the Egyptian language, most likely ancient Egyptian, but not perfectly, with a deep voice. Astrologically, he signifies impossible plans. This demon is a servant demon to those born November 5th to the 9th. And number 48, Hyenti, holding the rank of president, Existing in the demon degree, aerial powers. Hyganti rules over 33 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Mahale, a member of the Virtues Choir whose name means God, Father the Generous. Mahale preserves the peace between married couples, gives protections, premonitions, secrets, inspirations. Astrologically, this angel signifies fertility and fruitfulness. Hyganti is depicted as a big bull with the wings of a griffin who changes into a man upon request of the summoner. He can grant knowledge in every subject, 
He can transmute any metal into gold, change wine into water and water into wine. Astrologically, this demon signifies luxury and Hagenti is a servant demon to those born between November 19th and the 14th. Number 49, Crocelle, holding the rank of Duke, corresponding demon degree, Furies. Crocelle rules over 48 legions of demons and the angel that watches over is Ehul, a member of the Principality's Choir, whose name means the Great and Exalted God. This angel overcomes sorrow and contrariness. Astrologically, this angel signifies grandeur. Corsell will manifest as an angel with a tendency to speak in a dark and mysterious way. Corsell can teach geometry and other liberal sciences. Also, he can warm bodies of water up. He can create illusions of sound of rushing water and reveal the location of natural baths. Astrologically, Corsell signifies ego and hatred. Corsell is the servant demon for those born between November 15th and the 19th. Number 50, Furcas, also known as Forecas, holding the rank, knight, existing in the demon degree, Furies. Forecas rules over 20 legions of demons, and he's watched over by the angel Daniel, member of the Principalities Choir, whose name means God the Merciful Judge. Daniel provides consolation and helps obtain God's mercy, rules over justice, councils, attorneys, magistrates. Astrologically, this angel signifies eloquence. Fercaz will appear as a strong old man with white hair and a long white beard who rides a horse while holding a sharp weapon, usually a pitchfork. Fercaz teaches philosophy, astronomy, astrology, rhetoric, logic, cryomancy, and pyromancy. Fercaz is a servant demon to those born between November 20th and the 24th. Number 51, Balaam, also known as Balan, holding the rank king, existing in the demon degree, Furies. Balaam commands over 40 legions of demons. The angel that watches over him is Hahasia, a member of the Principality's Choir, whose name means God, the Impenetrable Secret. This angel governs chemistry and physics and can reveal the secrets of the Philosopher's Stone and Universal Medicine. Astrologically, this angel signifies Universal Medicine. Balaam will appear as a three-headed being. One head is a bull, the second a man, the third a ram. He has flaming eyes and the tail of a serpent. He carries a hawk on his fist and rides a strong bear. At other times, he is also represented as a naked man riding a bear. He will give perfect answers on anything past, present, and future. And he can also make men invisible and witty. Balaam is a servant demon to those born between November 25th and the 29th. 52. Alices holding the rank Duke, existing in demon degree, Furies. Alices commands 36 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Imamia, a member of the Principality's Choir, whose name means the God hidden in darkness. This angel destroys the power of enemies and humbles them. Astrologically, this angel signifies atonement of errors. Alices will appear in the form of a fire-breathing, lion-headed soldier riding a horse. He will teach astronomy and liberal sciences and grant familiars. Alices is a servant demon to those born between November 30th and December 4th. Number 53, Cain. Rank, President, exists in the demon degree, Furies. Cain, also known as Cameo, rules over 30 legions of demons. He is watched over by the angel Nanael, member of the Principality's Choir, whose name means God humiliating the proud. This angel rules over the high sciences and is able to influence religious men, teachers, magistrates, and men of law. Astrologically, this angel signifies spiritual communication. There doesn't seem to be much original information about what came look like, but in the 19th, 20th century, illustrations came up of him appearing in the form of a thrush, but soon changes shape into a man that has a sharp sword in his hand. Cain can help the summoner understand the voices of birds, bullocks, dogs, and other creatures, and the noise of water too. He will give true answers of the future. When he is speaking with the summoner and answering questions, he seems to be standing on burning ashes or coals as well. Cain is a servant demon to those born December 5th to the 9th. Number 54, Murmur. Rank, Count, or Duke. Exists in the demon degree, Furies. 
Murmur has 33 legions of demons under his command and is watched over by the angel Nefeo, a member of the Principality's choir, whose name means God, the King of Heaven. It is an angel that rules over emperors, kings, princes, and all civilian and other dignitaries. This angel protects the stability of empires. Astrologically, this angel signifies rejuvenation. Murmur will appear as a soldier riding a vulture or a griffin and wearing a ducal crown. Two of his ministers will be following in front of him with trumpets. Murmur teaches philosophy and can ask the souls of the dead to appear before the summoner to answer any question desired. Murmur is a servant demon to those born between December 10th and the 14th. Number 55. Orabas. Rank, Prince, exists in the demon degree, Furies. Orabas has 20 legions of demons under his control, and he is watched over by the angel Mevahaya, a member of the Principality's choir whose name means the Eternal God. This angel is beneficial for obtaining consultation and compensations and governs morality and religion. Astrologically, this angel signifies intellectual lucidity. Orobos will appear as a horse that changes into a man under the summoner's request. The name also comes from Orobias, which is a type of incense. Orobos gives true answers of everything past, present, and future, as well will answer questions regarding divinity and the creation of the world. He also assists with relationships between friends and foes, and Orobos will be faithful to the summoner, and he doesn't permit any spirit to tempt him, and he never deceives anybody. Orobos is a servant demon to those born December 15th to the 19th. Number 56, Gremory. Rank, Duke, exists in demon degree, Furies. Gremory will also be known as Gamori, Gaineron, Gamon, Gamyem, and Gamyen. Gremory rules over 26 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Wile, member of the Principality's Choir, whose name means God sustaining everything. Wile will obtain whatever one requests, rules over fame, fortune, and philosophy. Astrologically, this angel signifies fortune and fame. Gramari is depicted as appearing in the form of a beautiful woman with the crown of a duchess tied around her waist, riding a camel. Gramari will tell the summoner about anything past, present, and future, will also show hidden treasures, and can procure the love of women young and old, but especially maidens. Grimori is a servant demon to those born between December 20th and the 24th. Number 57, Os. Rank, president, exists in the demon degree, accusers. It is said Os rules over three legions of demons, but some other authors say 30 legions. However, some other texts give no number of legions. Os is watched over by the angel Namamia, member of the Archangel Choir. His name means the lovely God. This angel brings general prosperity, delivers prisoners from their bonds, and governs great captains. Astrologically, this angel signifies discernment. Os will appear as a leopard that after a while changes into a man. Os has the ability to make the summoner wise in all liberal sciences, will also give true answers concerning divine and secret things. Os will also make anyone insane who the summoner requests to make insane, usually making them believe that they're a king, wearing a crown or a pope. However, Os' spells only last about an hour at a time. Also, Os can transform people into animals, and if the summoner was requesting to someone to be turned into an animal, they would be unaware that they were turned into animals. So it's like a curse. Os is a servant demon to those born December 25th to the 29th. Number 58, Amy, rank president, exists in the demon degree, accusers. Amy rules over 36 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel, I'm having trouble pronouncing this one, Ie Lelo, a member of the Archangel Choir, whose name means God Hearing Lamnations. This angel influences iron and those in commerce, protects against sorrow, heals the sick, especially afflictions of the eyes. Astrologically, this angel signifies mental force. Amy unfortunately holds the futile hope of returning to the seventh heaven after 12 centuries. Amy will appear initially as a flame before turning into a human form. He teaches astronomy, liberal arts. He also can give familiars to people. He will incite positive reactions from rulers and also can reveal 
treasures. Amy is a servant demon for those born between December 30th and January 3rd. Number 59, Arias, holds the rank Marquis, exists in the demon decree, accusers. Arias, which is sometimes also spelled Ariax, has 30 legions of demons under his command and is watched over by the angel Herahel, a member of the Archangel Choir whose name means the all-pervading God. This angel can be called upon to help with the sterility of women, governs books. Astrologically, this angel signifies intellectual richness. When summoned, Arias will appear in the form of a lion riding upon a mighty and strong horse with a serpent's tail, and he holds in his right hand two hissing serpents. Arias will teach the summoner the virtues of the stars and the planets. He also gives dignities, helps with favors between friends and foes. Arias is a servant demon for those born between January 4th and the 8th. Number 60, Vapula, rank Duke, exists in the demon degree, accusers. Vapula commands 36 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Mizrael, a member of the Archangel Choir, whose name means God liberating the oppressed. This angel heals mental and spiritual sickness and delivers one from their enemies. Astrologically, this angel signifies self-atonement. When summoned, Vapula will appear as a griffin winged lion. Vapula will teach philosophy, mechanics, and sciences. He can make someone all-knowing in handicrafts and professions. Vapula is the servant demon to those born between January 9th and the 13th. Number 61. Zagan, rank, king, or president, exists in the demon degree, accusers. Zagan commands over 33 legions of demons, and he is watched over by the angel Umabel, a member of the archangel choir whose name means God above all names elevated. Umabel can obtain anyone's friendship and rules over astronomy and physics. Astrologically, this angel signifies affinity and friendship. When summoned, Zagan is depicted as a griffin-winged bull that turns into a man after a while. Zagan can make men witty. He can also turn wine into water and water into wine and blood into wine. As well, he can turn any metals into coins that are made with that metal. Zagan is a servant demon for those born between January 14th to the 18th. Number 62, Valak, also known as Volak. Rank, President, exists in the Demon Degree, Accusers. Valak governs 38 legions of spirits, and he is watched over by the angel Iahel, member of the Archangel Choir, whose name means God the Highest King. This angel rules over philosophers and enlightened individuals, and astrologically, this angel signifies the desire to know. When summoned, Valak will appear as a boy with angel wings riding a two-headed dragon. Valak is supposed to tell its summoner the location of any hidden treasures and reveal where snakes may be found. It will also bring treasures to the summoner without being forced to do so. Astrologically, Valak signifies relationship strife. Valak also was in the Conjuring series, but the stuff in the movie is Hollywoodized and not necessarily accurate. Valak is a servant demon to those born between January 19th and the 23rd. Number 63. Andrus, rank Marquis, exists in the demon degree, accusers. Andrus commands 30 legions of demons, and he is watched over by the angel Anehu, a member of the archangel choir whose name means the gentle god. This angel protects against accidents, preserves health, and cures illness. Astrologically, this angel signifies the perception of unity. Andras is considered a highly dangerous demon who will kill the summoner and the summoner's assistants if precautions are not taken. Once Andras is summoned, he will appear with a winged angel's body and the head of an owl or raven riding upon a strong black wolf and he also will be carrying a sharp, bright sword. What he will do for the summoner is sow discord among people, causes strife and bloodshed. He's purely just chaos and evil. Andrus is a servant demon to those born between January 24th and the 28th. Number 64, Horis holds the rank Duke, exists under demon degree, accusers. Horis is also known as Floros, Flavros, Horas, and Havri. 
He has 36 legions of demons under his control, and he is watched over by the angel Mahil, a member of the Archangel Choir, whose name means the vivifying God. This angel will fight against one's adversaries and protects against rabies and wild beasts, governs savants professors. Astrologically, this angel signifies restoration of life. Once summoned, Haris is usually represented as a humanoid leopard with big claws, but can also just appear as a big strong leopard. The summoner can request him turn into a man which he will with fiery eyes and a very awful expression however before the summoner begins doing anything with them he must first be commanded to enter the magic triangle if hariz does not go into the magic triangle he will lie deceive and beguile the summoner but if he enters the magic triangle he will answer truthfully and he will gladly speak about divinity creation of the world himself and other fallen angels horius gives true answers of all things past present and future he can also destroy all of the summoner's enemies by burning them up if requested a summoner can also request from Hariz to never suffer any temptation from any spirit or in any form. Also, Hariz can be summoned when a mortal wishes to take vengeance on other demons. Hariz is a servant demon to those born between January 29th and February 2nd. Number 65, Andre Elphis, Rank Marquis, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnarers. Andre Alphys governs 30 legions of demons and is watched over by the angel Damabia, a member of the angel's choir, whose name means God, the source of wisdom. This angel protects against magic spells and can obtain wisdom for undertaking of successful ventures. Astrologically, this angel signifies a fountain of wisdom. Andre Elphis, once summoned, appears in the form of a peacock, but after a little bit of time, he will put on a human shape. This demon will teach geometry perfectly and will make one very keen on the topic. He can also make the summoner very knowledgeable in menstruation or astronomy, as well has the ability to transform a person into the likeness of a bird. Astrologically, this demon signifies an unhappy voyage. Andre Alphys is a servant demon to those born February 3rd to the 7th. Number 66, Samiz, rank Marquis, exists in demon degree, tempters and ensnares. Samiz governs 20 legions of chief infernal spirits. He is watched over by the angel Manakel, a member of the angel's choir, whose name means God nurturing and maintaining everything. This angel appeases the anger of God and heals epilepsy, governs vegetation, aquatic animals, and influences dreams. Astrologically, this angel signifies knowledge of good and evil. Once summoned, Samaez appears as a warrior riding upon a black horse. Samaez rules over all spirits in parts of Africa. He is required to teach grammar, logic, rhetoric, and to discover things that are lost, hidden, or treasures. He can make a man appear like a soldier of his own likeness as well. Astrologically, this demon signifies physical and moral imperfections. Samaez is a servant demon to those born February 8th to the 12th. Number 67, Amdugius, rank Duke, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnares. Amdugius governs 29 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Ael, a member of the angel's choir whose name means God, the pleasure of man's children. This angel helps in adversity and provides wisdom and has influence over occult sciences. Astrologically, this angel signifies transformation. Once summoned, Andugius appears at first like a unicorn, but upon request of the summoner, will go into a human shape. But as he does so, trumpets and all manners of musical instruments will start to be heard. Andugius can cause trees to bend and incline under the summoner's will, and he also gives excellent familiars. Astrologically, this demon signifies making mistakes. Andusius is a servant demon to those born February 13th to the 17th. Number 68, Belial, rank king, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnarers. Belial governs 50 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Habuya, a member of the angel's choir whose name means God, the kindest giver. This angel preserves health and cures diseases and rules agriculture and fertility. Astrologically, this angel signifies healing. 
Belial is a very powerful king who was actually created first right after Lucifer. He is the ruler of the vessels of iniquity, the third degree of diabolical spirits. When you summon Belial, you must have offerings, sacrifices, and gifts presented to him or else he will not give true answers to questions. He will only tell truth for about an hour unless he is being held by divine power. Belial is required to distribute presentations and senatorships, so like political roles and things like that. Also, he is required to give favor of friends and foes, and he gives excellent familiars. Belial is a servant demon for those born February 18th to the 22nd. Number 69, the Karabia. Rank Marquis, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnarers. The Karabia governs 30 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Rochelle, a member of the angel's choir, whose name means God seeing everything, is in charge of rules, renown, fortune, and succession. Astrologically, this angel signifies restitution. Once summoned, the Karabia appears as a star in a pentacle at first, but at the command of the summoner will become the image of a man. Decarabia is required to give information on the virtues of birds and precious stones and can make all kinds of birds fly in front of the summoners. Astrologically, this demon signifies fines and unfair costs. Decarabia is a servant demon for those born February 23rd to the 27th. Number 70, Seri, rank prince, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnares. Siri governs 26 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Ayabamia, a member of the angel's choir whose name means word of God creating all. This angel governs natural processes and phenomena of nature and protects those who wish to progress spiritually. Astrologically, this angel signifies alchemy and transformation. Once summoned, Siri appears in the form of a beautiful man riding upon a winged horse like a pegasus. Siri has the ability to pass over the whole earth in just the blink of an eye, so he can give a true relation of all sorts of theft, his hidden treasure of many different things. He is good natured and usually indifferent to things and is willing to do anything which the summoner requires. His job is to go and come and bring abundance of things to pass on and to carry anything wherever you would have it go or from where you would have it from. Astrologically, this demon signifies dangerous writings. Siri is a servant demon for those born February 28th to March 4th. Number 71, Dentalian, rank Duke, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnarers. Dentalian governs 36 legions of spirits and is watched over by the angel Hael, a member of the angel's choir whose name means God, master of the universe. This angel confounds the wicked and provides deliverance from oppressors. Astrologically, this angel signifies divine warriors. Once summoned, Dentalian, he has men and women's faces and a book in his right hand. He is required to teach all arts and sciences. He knows the thoughts of all men and women so he can give that information to the summoner as well and he can change their thoughts at will. He can also cause love and show visions to people no matter what part of the world they may reside in. Astrologically, the spirit signifies infamy. Dentalian is a servant demon of those born between March 5th and 9th. Number 72, Andromalius, rank count, exists in the demon degree, tempters and ensnarers. All right, this is our last demon here. Andromalius has 36 legions of demons at his service, and he is watched over by the angel Lumaya, a member of the angel's choir, whose name means God, the end of the universe. This angel protects mysterious operations and brings success in all things, governs chemistry, physics, and medicine. Astrologically, this angel signifies endings and rebirth. Once summoned, Andromalius appears as a man holding a great serpent in his hand. He is required to bring back any thieves and the goods that were stolen and to discover all wickedness and underhanded dealings and to punish all thieves and wicked people. He also can discover treasures that are hidden. Astrologically, this demon signifies despair and unaliving. Andromalius is a servant demon of those born between March 10th and the 14th.
And that wraps up the list of 72 demons and the 72 angels that look over them all from the Ars Goetia. It's just here for reference for anyone who needs it. Uh, if you want a detailed video that has more discussion about things and more deep dive into history and less just listing off things, you know, watch the video that was before this one. I will link it here. If you've made it to the end of this video, leave a comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next week.